One of the items that is commonly made fun of that Rockstar likes to rotate into the clothing stores and catalogs is the limited stock clothing items. Why does Rockstar do this? Is it because of these rare pixels that they have to mine for? Is it because they just want to have something to rotate through the catalog every now and then and take it out limited time only? Or is it because the catalog system isn't exactly a very good system when it comes to adding new items to a game? It's a mystery, one of those answers we may never have. But for all of you that are curious about the current limited stock clothing items, we're going to go over them because Rockstar has decided to add them all. Now, where can you pick up limited stock clothing items? Well, uh, you can go to various tailors. There's a tailor in Blackwater as well as over in Saint Denis. So there are tailors. But there are also regular clothing shops. And basically they kind of like are everything. A hodgepodge of items. So if you can't find a tailor, just go to a general store. So like there's a general store in Rhodes as well as over in uh, Valentine. There's a general store. See, there's the general store. And then all the way over to uh, Strawberry. Down here. General store. Where I went through Blackwater. Then you have to go all the way out west to Tumbleweed for the other general store. So this is where you can always find most of the limited stock clothing items except for the masks. For that, we'll have to go find Madame Nazar. But anyways, let us venture into the clothing store and check out all the current limited stock clothing items available along with their price tags and yes we will go look for Madame Nazar later and find those as well. Bear in mind that Rockstar will most likely eventually add more limited stock clothing items with future updates but for now let us go over the clothing items. There are two limited stock clothing items the Tasman and the Danube so real quick we'll go over uh, like one of the outfits. The Tasman for male characters is 16 bars of gold. And like I mentioned, there's also a female equivalent called the Danube that's Any available as well. Just so let's uh, have a look at it. There's nothing really special. I mean, you, you get each of these, like, uh, you can separate them and to use them into different clothing, like customization outfits if you wish. But this is the Tasman. And the Danube is available for female characters. Now we're going to move on to the boots. I had to remove my chaps in order to show you the boots. So there are male and female versions of limited stock clothing items. And I will attempt to add the female clothing items at the end of the video for those of you curious about the limited stock female clothing items. I just have to move over my Xbox to so call that up. But it's okay. All right, so let's start off with the boots that are available. Now, some of these are for both male and female characters, but this is the Strickland boots. And the price tag varies from three bars of gold to four bars of gold. Uh, some of the limited stock clothing items will be uh, both cash and gold, but there definitely are items that are limited stock, which are gold only. So that's the limited stock boots, known that's as the right. Strickland boots. Next is the Calhoun boots which can be yours for $94, and there are 10 variations to choose oh, from when it comes yourself. to that the Calhoun boots. And the gold price tag, if you wish to pay gold instead of cash, is four bars of gold for the Calhoun boots. Once again, 10 variations of the Calhoun boots for you to choose from. That's As we move fine. over you to the, the gold, Salter dude. shoes, which is $117, and there That's are also 10 variations of the Salter shoes. That's why and the price tag bar gold wise is five gold bars. So five gold bars are $117.50 for each pair of Salter shoes. As we move over to them darn stockings, two bars of gold. So this is a gold only limited stock item. There are 10 variations of the darn stockings for you to uh, pick from and different patterns, obviously. So yes, 10 patterns. For the darn stockings which is two bars of gold now we're going to move over to accessories where we will find 
the uh, gloves. So there's uh, two pairs of gloves that are limited shop. stock, the woodland and the fur gloves. The woodland gloves are four bars of gold, and there's only two variations of the woodland gloves for you to choose from. Whereas the fur gloves are uh, cash optional. You can pay cash or you can pay four bars of gold for the fur gloves. Uh, there's, once again, only two variations of the fur gloves, but they're both limited stock clothing That's items. Fine. Now we're going to move up into oh, chaps. Man, there are a I few limited dollars. stock Every chaps time. available. The Griffith chaps are $52 with 10 variations for you to choose from. Or you can pay three bars of gold for, for the this. Griffith chaps. Next is That's the right. uh, Schaefer Chaps, think. which is $59.50. Uh, nine variations so, of the Schaefer Chaps. Wearing and you could pay three bars of gold if you rather pay gold than cash for the uh, Schaefer Chaps. Next That's is fine. the Pelt you Half Chaps. And uh, well, six variations of the Pelt Half Chaps. This that, is I'm gold afraid. only, four bars of gold for the Pelt Half Chaps. Limited stock clothing item. There's currently only one limited stock bandana, which is the Pattered Bandana, for $21.50. And purchase. actually, this is one that, yeah, that fluctuates. Some. some of these actually have different price tags. So disregard what it says in the catalog, because it really depends on the specific variation of the Pattern Bandana. Some of these are obviously gold only. These are four bars of gold for these Pattern Bandanas. But some actually can be optional whether you want to pay cash or gold, uh, three bars of gold are $57.50 for these variations down near the I bottom of the pattern bandana. So, yeah, there's a few different ones here. Uh, these are the uh, cheaper ones at the bottom. So you have to go down to the bottom of the pattern bandana and uh, 34 variations to choose from to find the cheap ones. So these are only $25.50, but they're also... Once again, gold only pattern bandanas at the bottom. The cheaper ones, I guess, in the gold variant. Uh, two bars of gold for this variety. And then $21 as well for some of these uh, options. So at the very bottom, you find $21.50 variations the of the pattern bandana. And then, yeah, 34 uh, options for the pattern bandana for you to choose from. And some of them are cash and gold. Some of them are gold only. Just depends on... Uh, which one you want to buy some of them are obviously a bit more expensive than the others But currently the pattern bandana is the only limited stock bandana that you can purchase in the clothing stores and through the catalog We will be going over masks in just a little just bit moving on to spurs Limited stock spur well, options currently there is only one available for $69 the vaquero spurs and these are really nice looking spurs. There are nine options for so, you to choose from, $69. And obviously you can tell I like them so much I bought at least two variations for my uh, male character, Wolfus, on the PS4. And so you have a few uh, variations to choose from. Once again, there are nine of them. And the cost is $69 for the Vaquero Spurs. Now we're going to move on to uh, pants and skirts. Now obviously... I can't show you the female clothing items right now because I'm recording through the PS4 of my male character, but I will circle back with my female character, Paula Janine, on the Xbox One near the end of the video to show off the limited stock female outfit and clothing items that are unique to female characters. But on the pants, a lot of these are both male and female. Some of these are male only. The uh, Carver pants, which is $57.50. There are 10 variations of the there Carver pants. They're all the same price tag. And in case you're curious about the uh, gold option, you can pay three bars of gold for the Carver pants. And now we're going to move on to right. a very popular version of uh, pants known as the limited stock Concho right. pants. Is this is a favorite is? whenever it becomes available in the clothing store. And a really good price tag. They vary. Some of these are $51, $58, $45, $41, 48 bucks. Depends on which one you want. And uh, the price tags uh, when you go buy gold. Uh, do I think they change as well. So that's three bars, two bars, two bars, two bars. So some of these are two bars of gold. Some of these are three bars of gold if you'd rather we spend gold bars. But, you know, these but are I'm all sure you can just purchase the Concho Pants 
for uh, cash if you'd rather just pay cash for this very popular limited stock clothing item. Moving on next to the Tide Pants, which is $42. There are 10 variations of the Tide Pants. We're going to swap through them real quick. See, some of them you know, are $45, a little bit more pricey than the others. So they range from $42, $45, and uh, two bars of gold. For I think all of them are two bars of gold, I believe. Let me look. Yeah, so we can either pay $42 to $45 for uh, the Tide Pants of your choice. Ten options are two to three bars of gold if you prefer paying in gold bars. Now we're moving on to vests. Let's move on to vests real quick. And then we'll move over to uh, the uh, coats. All right, so there are three limited stock vests available for at least male characters and I think female characters as well. The Ortega vest is limited stock $131. And this is also a pretty popular vest for people to get, especially uh, it combos really well with the uh, gator hat, which we're going to go over in just a minute. This is obviously my personal favorite of these five variations. And you can pay six bars of gold for, uh, I think, all of these. So each of these six bars of gold are, if you'd rather pay cash, obviously you see the cash uh, price tags down below. You know, from 138 to 134 and 131 for the Ortega vest. Next is the uh, Cardoza vest. And this is a gold-only vest, limited stock clothing item. So you have to pay gold for these. There are ten variations to choose from. And they look really good. They're a really nice pattern. And everyone's going to have different tastes. Oh, and don't some of you may yourself. see these clothing that items and be like, I don't care for that or that. But there may be something here in the limited stock clothing item that you really like. And this is a great week to go ahead and uh, purchase uh, whatever limited stock clothing items suit your fancy because you don't know when they're going to be added back into rotation in Red Dead Online. So all these... Ten variations of the Cardoza vest can be yours for four bars of gold each. And the right. third Whatever limited stock see. vest is the Morales vest for $157.75. So Ten variations for you to choose you from. Wearing and uh, these are pretty cool looking too. They have kind of a, a colder weather vibe to them, obviously. But if you're up in the snow, up in Amberino, you know, this is probably the vest you may want to uh, throw on to your character. Like, down in the warmer weather, it doesn't really look so good, but, um, you know, it just really depends on what your style is. Five gold bars, I believe, for all of these. So each of these is five gold bars are $157.75 for the limited stock Morales vest. Everything. Now we're moving on to the coats. Once again, a reminder, we're only going over, uh, like, uh, unisex and male uh, coats. The, uh, the female limited Buy stock clothing me. items and are coming up in just a few. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so there's quite a few limited stock uh, coats available for you to purchase. Some of these are quite popular. We're going to start off with the uh, Benbow jacket for uh, $75. There are 10 variations oh, for you that to choose from. This one's obviously purchase. my personal fave. And uh, some of these are actually gold only. So these are like four bars of gold, three bars of gold, three bars of gold for the ones at the bottom. And uh, I'm sure that the gold price tags are about the same. So far, three to four bars of gold for the uh, optional ones when it comes to optional payouts between cash and gold. But once again, there are a few at the bottom of the bimbo jacket that you can only pay uh, bars of gold for. So that is the bimbo jacket. Moving That's on fine. to the porter jacket. There are 10 variations to choose from, $83. And this is the Man, one I liked, so this is the one I picked up a while back. But uh, some of these, once again, are gold only, but uh, you can pay uh, gold for these as well if you'd rather pay gold. I think most players prefer playing, paying cash unless you have to pay gold. And in that case, some of these are gold only when it comes to the Porter jacket. So at least four of them are gold only for four bars of gold. As That's we move right. on Whatever to the see. winter shotgun coat. And this is, I think, a warmer weather coat. So... You kind of want to wear this. Well, I mean, it's it's better for cold weather like the snow amberino. So, anyways, there are ten variations of this to choose from. One hundred and forty-six dollars seventy-five cents. Uh, some of them are a little bit cheaper price. Well, I think these are the two more expensive ones because they're leather looking. They have kind of like that leather look. Some of these are more cloth. One thirty-three, one thirty-five. So, some of these items, the the price tag does fluctuate depending on the uh, design, the variation. One forty-one for that one. 
151 for uh, this one right here, oh, man, if I as well as this one. And of course, there's an option me, for you to purchase these you uh, if you want via gold instead. Seven, uh, six, six, six. So yeah, you know, six, seven bars of gold if you prefer paying uh, gold over cash. So next, we're moving on to the extremely popular Morning Tail Coat. This is one of the more coveted items that rotates in and out of the catalog when it comes to limited stock clothing item. And there's 10 variations for you to choose from. Some of these are cash and gold options, uh, $87.75. But some of these you'll notice are gold only. I believe this one was gold only. So yeah, this uh, black and gold one, gold only. But some of these are cash and gold, so uh, four bars of gold. Yeah, see that one's a, a gold bar one only. Ninety bars of ninety dollars for this one. I'm glad it's not ninety bars of gold. I uh, see uh, four bars of gold, four bars of gold. Wait, one eighteen for this one. Are five bars of gold, and five bars of gold. So yes, once again, a very popular limited stock clothing item, the morning tail coat. And uh, let's move on now to the Irwin coat, which is $131.75, 10 variations. And uh, you know, some of these are pretty nice looking. It really depends on what colors you like, what look, what style you prefer. And they're all $131.75, are six bars of gold, all 10 variations of the Irwin coat, limited stock item. And next That's is fine. the Charo jacket, which is $148. There are 10 variations of the Charo well, jacket. Some of these are gold only, that, like this version. It's gold only. I think the rest of them, uh, you can pay gold or cash, but this one specifically is a gold only item. But the rest of them you can just pay uh, cash and are gold for, except for obviously this variation of the uh, Charo jacket. 10 variations of this jacket to choose from. Yes, there are more. You thought we were done, but you were wrong. The Abhard Coat, limited stock clothing item. This is, I believe, a gold-only item. You can get the uh, Abhard jacket, but it will cost you eight bars of gold, a relatively expensive limited stock clothing item. It might actually be one of the more expensive ones for you to purchase, but all 10 variations of the Abhard Coat. Uh, each one can be yours for eight bars of gold. As we move forward with the McBay jacket, actually, I stand corrected. This well, is more expensive than the Abhart. So this is 11 bars of gold, 10 variations for you to choose from. And yeah, 11 bars of gold. Now, Ouch. But if you like it and you got the gold, why not? So 10 variations, McBay jacket for 11 bars of gold each. That's and next fine. is the Levitt jacket. This is uh, seven bars that of gold. I never really cared for this design. And by the way, I did not buy this. For one thing, I don't like this look, but I mean, you may like it. You may find this to be a cool pattern. You know, teach their own, but I don't really care my, for it. I think this was a login reward one week or something. So that's why I happen to have this variation of the Levitt jacket. But it can be yours, uh, each version for seven bars of gold with 10 variations of the Levitt jacket to choose from. And That's the final right. quote unquote coat is actually a poncho, the Preto poncho, which is well, six bars of gold. gold. So this I'm is afraid. a gold bar item. And there are once again, 10 variations of the Preto poncho for you to choose from. And you know, some of these actually what are really good patterns. So I like this, you. the Preto poncho, once again, 10 variations, limited stock clothing item, Six bars of gold each. And now for what I guess you could say is the main attraction when it comes to the limited stock clothing items, the hats. There are quite a few limited stock clothing hat items available, and we're about to go over them. Yes, we are. So yes, as you can tell, quite a few. Uh, some of these I really don't care for, to be honest, but you may like them. First, let's start off with the Botel hat. $187. There are eight variations of the Botel hat for oh, you man, to choose from. Yourself. And that you can pay eight bars you. of gold if you so choose, but they are cash items. So better to pay cash. I think in most cases, cash is probably the easier uh, form of payment, unless you just have no choice but to pay gold. Once again, ten. I mean, eight options for the Botel hat for $187. As we move no on now to the popular Kosek hat. If you want to re relive the uh, Russian Civil War after World War I, so, well, now you can you with the Kosek hat. Eight variations and $147.25 are six bars of gold for the limited stock Kosek hat. As we move on right. to the Covington hat, 
And I believe this is a gold item only. It kind of has a, I guess you could say, a pilgrim hat look to it. You know, going all pilgrim on us. So there are eight variations of the pilgrim hat, or Covington hat. And it's five bars of gold for the Covington hat. As we move over to the Delhay hat. So this is also a gold only hat. And uh, it has like uh, some feathers in the hat. I guess it'd be good for like a Native American look if you're going for that. So this would be a good hat for that now, look. So once again, four bars for of this? gold for all of eight, well, for each of the variations of the uh, Del eight, Del Hay hat. <laughs> I can't talk, but the Del Hay hat, eight variations to choose from. Four bars of gold, limited stock clothing item. Right. As we move Whatever. to the fanned stove pipe hat. Now this is kind of a flashy little hat with some feathers in the front. Every hat style so I mean, I don't know. I mean. If you like it, you like it, right? What's to stop you from getting it if you like it, especially if you have $133.25 or six bars of gold because it's one of these items that's optional. You could pay cash or gold for one of eight variations of the fan stove pipe hat. As we move that's over fine. to the fall wheel hat for $150 or six bars of gold. There are eight variations of the fall wheel hat to, to choose life. from. I think this was another login reward or it was... Something I purchased for St. Patrick's Day. That was probably the case. But anyways, um, $150 for each of the Falwell hats with eight variations for you to choose from. Or you can pay six bars of gold. As we move to no a few more items, as you can tell, quite a few more limited stock hats to go over. Now this is a favorite of some. <laughs> it's one of the more interesting hats available. The Gardenia hat, which has lovely flowers in the hat. There are eight variations. It is a gold there item only. So if you really want the Gardenia one. hat, uh, it'll cost you six bars of gold with eight variations of the uh, Gardenia hat for you to choose from. I think this one's my personal favorite. <laughs> All right, so next is the extremely popular Gator hat. This may be one of the most popular limited stock clothing that items in the game. Favorite. It is currently available this week in Reddit Online, along with all these other limited stock clothing items. The Gator hat is $158, and there are eight variations of the Gator hat for you to choose from. And my personal favorite is probably this one. Or you could pay uh, seven bars of gold if you have more gold than cash, or you'd rather just spend your gold. But cash-wise, $158.75 for the Gator hat. And then next, we move on to the Manoska hat. And this is a cool hat, too. I like this hat. I kind of like this look. So the Manoska hat is also available for you to purchase. And it's $154.25 with seven variations for you to choose from, including this one. And if you rather pay gold, it is seven bars of gold for the Manosco hat. As we move That's over right. to another popular hat, the Awenjila hat. And there are eight variations of the Awenjila hat. I got this version oh, a long time ago. And uh, see, I think the price tag is very, well, maybe not. $119.50 for all variations of the uh, Awenjila hat. Or you can pay five gold bars. Once again, this is an extremely popular limited stock hat and moving on now to uh the lister hat this has that similar pattern that we went over a moment ago i think this complements the what the levitt jacket really well for those of you that's into this uh pattern uh, it's 156 dollars and some of these you'll notice are basically reskins of other clothing items that are already in the game and i believe that the less lister hat is a reskin of a normal hat it just has this uh, unique uh, pattern to it. And uh, each uh, of the eight variations is either $156 or seven bars of gold. Now, personally, I don't really care for this uh, hat, but someone out there may. And like I said, teach their own when it comes to your choices in clothing. The Manteca hat is another very popular hat. I, in fact, have two of them. I have this one as well as this my, one. I my, like them. They I look really, really cool. And there are eight variations for you to choose from. And they are all the same price, either $141.25 or six bars of gold for the Manteca hat, which is also available of all the other limited stock clothing items for a few more days at least. All right. So That's next right. is the Whatever. plaid cap. A lot of people like this. Kind of has a, I guess you could say, uh, Peaker Blinders uh, look and feel to it, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, these are each uh, $59.25 or three bars of gold 
for the plaid cap. So there are eight variations of this limited stock hat for you to choose from and an optional payment. So here we go with the raccoon hats. And I think this was another login reward I got a while back. But uh, for all the other uh, raccoon hats, it's $151.50. I would kind of prefer if they did a different uh, raccoon hat without the head on it. Similar to what you see in uh, Texas uh, history artwork, the Battle of the Alamo. The way Davy Crockett is portrayed. I don't know if that's actually how he looked, but that's the way he's portrayed. But anyways, raccoon hat. All eight variations, $151.50, are seven bars of gold. So and the final hat that's limited stock is the Squat Stovepipe Top Hat. And I think this well, is a gold item only. Gold uh, see, three that. bars of gold for, for all eight variations of the Squat Stovepipe Top Hat. Okay, so for the final item that we're going to go over before we mosey over to female limited stock clothing items is uh, the bandolier now the bandolier unlike the other clothing items is only available in gun stores so there's gunsmith in san denis there's obviously a gunsmith in Rhodes, as well as uh, valentine and all the way out west in tumbleweed i believe those are currently the only gun stores in the game so go to the gun store if you want this limited stock clothing item so go to the gun store go into the uh, catalog go down to accessories and accessories you will find the Carbo Double Revolve, a bandolier, double bandolier. And the lighting is terrible over here. This is terrible lighting. Lighting is terrible. But it can be yours for 18 bars of gold. And it, yeah, that's probably the most expensive limited stock clothing items officially. As we go over all the limited stock clothing items today, the Carbo Double Barrel, <laughs> double bandolier is... The most expensive limited stock clothing item. There are 10 variations for you to choose from, and each one will cost you 18 bars of gold. I do apologize for the lighting. Can't help it. It's uh, 1898. What can you do? All right, so anyways, we went over all the unisex and male limited stock clothing items. Now we're going to move over and check out the female limited stock clothing items, as well as all them masks. And in case you're wondering, this is how that bandolier works and looks on uh, female characters. Also limited stock, same price. And no, unfortunately, it's aesthetic only. Bandoliers do not give you, like, uh, ammo capacity boosts. I wish they did, but they don't. All right, so now we have switched over to uh, female characters. I'm able to go over the limited stock uh, clothing items exclusive for female characters. And then when we wrap it up, we will go find Madame Nazar, and we will obviously go and look at Halloween masks, which are also limited hmm. stock clothing items, so we're at a uh, regular Take grocery a store for this because, like I mentioned, you can go to Taylor's, to you can go to a grocery store in order to check out the limited stock clothing items that are available uh, this week only. So go down to clothing, and then the unique female limited stock clothing item is the Danube, and this is basically what it's available. So I already purchased it a while back. Or I think it may have been a login reward, actually, so I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. But, yeah, so this is the Danube outfit. It is 15 bars of gold, obviously female only. It is currently the only uh, limited stock clothing outfit for female characters. Next is the Shameless Corset, obviously female character only. Limited stock clothing item. It's seven bars of gold. That means you can only purchase this particular corset for seven bars bars of gold for the Chainless Corset, which comes in 10 variations. For female characters, there's also a limited stock skirt, the Hitch Skirt, which is uh, two bars of gold. There are 10 variations of the Hitch Skirt for you to choose from. Some of these look quite nice, so if you like skirts on your female character, there are 10 variations of the Hitch Skirt for you to look at and check out. Limited stock clothing items for gold only two bars of gold for female characters there is one exclusive coat the climbing coat limited stock for 153 dollars are seven bars of gold there are nine variations of the climbing coat to choose from for you to check out and purchase for your female character once again the climbing coat comes in nine variations 
and is a limited stock clothing items exclusive to female characters in Red Dead Online. Another exclusive limited stock female item is the Bower Boots. And once again, these are for female characters only. There are 10 variations to choose from for you to pick out. And uh, the price tag uh, ranges. Some of these are $91.25. Uh, some are $103. Uh, some are $90.75. The gold bar uh, versions, if you prefer to pay in gold, four bars of gold, uh, four bars of gold, and five bars of gold. So like four to five bars of gold, depending on which variation of the Bauer boots you want to purchase for your female character. The good news is there's 10 options for you to choose from and all of them are cash. So if you don't want to pay gold bars for these boots, you can pay cash only, but gold is always an option for most items in the game. So this is the female exclusive Bauer boots limited stock clothing item. Okay, so we we're finally able to track down Madame Nazar. She likes to move around a little bit. Okay, so this is where we'll talk about the final limited stock clothing items available as of right now. The coveted Halloween masks. Obviously, it's not Halloween. I wish it was. Cooler weather. October is my favorite month. But if you've been wanting to get these masks, they are available at Madame Nazar for uh, various prices. First off, the Freak Mask, which comes in nine variations, $150 for the Freak Mask. Or you can pay six bars of gold. Next, we're going to move on to the uh, horror masks. These are also $150, or six bars of gold as well. I already purchased quite a few for Paula Janine, my female character on the Xbox One. And then the Masquerade mask. These are also $150 through Madame Nazar. And once again, six bars of gold if you prefer to pay gold over cash. Next is the Slaughter mask. There are nine variations of the Slaughter Mask, and each one costs the same price. Once again, $150 or six bars of gold. As we move down to the Creature Mask, also, as you can tell, you can see by pattern, $150 for the Creature Mask, 10 variations, and each one will cost you $150 or six bars of gold. And finally, we have the Swine Mask, 10 variations of the Swine Mask, and each mask will cost you 150 bars of gold. Once again, if you want to find the masks, which are also limited stock clothing items, they are available at Madame Nazar, wherever she happens to be throughout the world of Red Dead Online. So there you go. That is currently all of the limited stock clothing items for quote unquote this season in Red Dead Online. Uh, the unisex clothing items, the male exclusive, female exclusive, the masks, all the hats, the coats, the bandolier. Uh, yes, all limited stock clothing items are available for now for you to purchase. So I'm sure there are some of those items that really intrigue you, that you maybe have been curious about for quite a while now. This might be the last chance you get to purchase one or some, or maybe even if you go crazy, all of the limited stock clothing items until some of them are rotated back into the catalogs, the gun store, as well as the Halloween masks with Madame Nazar. An occasion like this in Red Dead Online may never transpire again. Your opportunity to browse through all of the current limited stock clothing items. I guess Rockstar's been stockpiling on those rare pixels, right? And if you happen to have a favorite or even a, like a top three or top ten list or top five list of your personal favorite limited stock clothing items, feel free and leave them below in the comment section.